the power of ignoring them. Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about the power of ignoring them. So whether this is an ex you're trying to get back or someone that you were once interested in and you're trying to get interested in you, there is power in ignoring these people, especially when they have rejected you, when they have treated you badly, when they have dumped you, um, all those kinds of things. You need to start showing self-respect and you can start doing that by ignoring them. Now, when I say ignoring them, I don't mean being mean to them or nasty to them, because obviously if you want them back and you want them to be interested in you, um, kind of giving them tough love and being cold and mean to them isn't going to make them more attracted to you. In fact, it's probably gonna do the opposite and it's gonna make them not like you even more. So obviously by ignoring them, I don't mean being a horrible person to them and being cold to them. It, all it means is that you're just a little bit more selective when you reply to them and also walking away from them and going into no contact because if you are constantly messaging them and basically never ignoring them and replying to their messages instantly, then you're gonna look desperate, you're gonna look like you are, have got no time on your hands basically, and that your whole world revolves around them messaging you. And obviously you don't wanna come across that way. So you need to be quite selective when you are trying to reattract someone. And obviously this, this is a bit of a game, but unfortunately when you are trying to make someone like you or you're trying to get someone back, trying to get someone more interested in you, or when you're at the beginning of a courtship, you kind of do need to play the game a little bit. And all this means is that you just don't come across eager. It's nothing deceptive, it's nothing manipulative. It just means that you're not being so eager and you're responding literally um, 10 seconds after they message you or 10 minutes, right? So what you want to be doing is you basically, obviously I say this a lot in my videos, is you want to be having a full life with things that you like to do, making yourself productive, um, basically if you, let's say you're someone who works, um, but you kind of don't like your job and you'd love to be in a different industry, so perhaps you need to have a side hustle, something that you're doing on the side um, that can help you get to where you want to be. But, um, you know, so you, so basically you make a life surrounding by the kind of like the trajectory of where you want your life to go. Now, of course, you may want a romantic relationship and that's probably why you're here because you also want something like that. So that's something obviously important in your life, but don't make it your primary focus. Make it something secondary to your life or even, even further down the list. Um, obviously, it's something that you can still be pursuing, but don't be as pursuing it as much as your, your main goals, dreams, and ambitions. And if you're a heterosexual male watching this video or someone who considers themselves to be masculine, then that should be your primary focus in life anyway, what you want your purpose to be, how you want your life to look like. Um, uh, if you want to have you know uh, your own kind of business usually um, a masculine male's uh, uh, goal in life is their career or, uh, or a really important hobby that they want to turn into a business so you need to be focusing on those kinds of things if you're a student then obviously out of your student hours you might be spending that time with friends and you also might be spending that time studying so you can get the degree or whatever it is you know whatever course you're trying to complete like you obviously want to put a lot of time and effort into that otherwise you're just wasting your money which is a ridiculous thing to do but unfortunately a lot of students do that because they kind of get disillusioned with the process or get overwhelmed and when you get overwhelmed by things the best thing for you to do if like let's say you do want to start your business or you do want to study a lot more but you just keep on looking at your pile of books or the pile of your to-do list or something um, then the best thing for you to do is just to do it in manageable chunks each day so that means like 20 minutes of this 15 minutes of that rather than just getting overwhelmed with it start to do it in manageable chunks and break it down for yourself to day-to-day -day little to-do lists rather than thinking about the whole bigger picture. So the best thing to do in that kind of circumstance is to not overwhelm yourself. So anyway, you should be focusing on these things. You should be doing these things, you know, your health, your business, um, you know, trying to, you know, make your parents look good, you know, all those kinds of things. I and mean, when you're focusing on these things and you make these things more important, it's much more easier to not be someone who messages the ex back instantly or the person that you like back instantly. You kind of, you know, message them when you have time to. So a few minutes ago, I heard that I got a message from my wife, but I'm going to reply back to her when I've finished making these videos because this is my main 
purpose in life right now to create this YouTube channel to create a successful coaching business. So I'm going to reply when I have time to. Obviously, I don't have time right now. So I'm going to get to replying when I have the time to do so. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing to reply. You need to reply in your own time. Um, but a lot of people think, oh God, if I don't reply now, then she's going to get mad at me or she's going to get angry at me or she's going to find someone else. But the reality is, you know, if, if this is someone who has a lot of other uh, attention from other people, um, so let's say this is a woman who has a lot of attention from other men all these people all these other guys are going to be messaging her back instantly Whereas you will be leaving it a few hours or you might even wait until the next day if you're really really busy to reply back to her So then you're going to come across as much more different and you're going to come across as someone who's much more emotionally In control of themselves because obviously these other guys, you know, just simply can't wait to, to message her back. Whereas you take your time and you do it when you are able to and you're not gonna stop everything you're doing to reply. So that's kind of like the attitude you want to have with these women in your life, whether they are exes or whether they are people you're going on dates with and things like that. So you just take your sweet, sweet time because if you come across as eager if you instantly reply to their messages if you're always instantly trying to get their validation all those kinds of things you're not going to come across as very attractive and what's really cool about this is let's say you do leave it like 24 hours before you reply to someone you know if this person then gets mad at you or they decide they're going to block you um, or they uh, just get, they, they send you a nasty message saying, why are you not responding to me? Why are you playing games with me? Basically that will shed so much light on that person. And you'll realize that, hey, you know what? This person is actually kind of a bit, a bit psycho. To someone who is emotionally stable, they will realize that, oh, the reason why this person hasn't responded to me, they might be busy, perhaps they're doing something, um, perhaps something came up, perhaps they had to go to the hospital or something like, they, you know, emotionally stable people will not get put off. They won't get upset that you haven't responded in 24 hours. They will also remain emotionally self-controlled and realize that you're another person with a life and you may not have the time to respond to them and to get back to them. And they'll have the attitude of, oh yeah, this person will get back to me when they are ready. And this is an experience I had um, when I was doing my A-levels, right? Um, there was a girl that I really liked who, who I'd never really got with, but, but it was kind of like known that we kind of both liked each other a little bit and we kind of we kind of like already kind of confessed a little bit that we kind of had a crush on each other, even though it wasn't really anything like massive. And um, there was one time in one evening where um, she must have messaged me, but I was asleep. And when I woke up, but like later that night, like at 10 o'clock or something, I got, I had, I had like, an, I had two messages from her. One was obviously the first initial message. And the other one was, I can't believe you're ignoring me just because we've established that we've liked each other. You're now playing games with me, hoping that is this, you ignoring me is going to make me like you more and stuff like that. And it just showed to me how insecure this girl was and how not right this girl was going to be for me if we did end up in some kind of like relationship because she just thought instantly that there was something wrong with the fact that I wasn't replying even though it wasn't my fault like I was asleep I was busy I was unconscious and yet she was already displaying this kind of like emotionally weak behavior and getting mad at me for not re responding in the time that she thought was right and it just showed me that this person wasn't right for me and sometimes it is absolutely uh, a requirement to ignore someone so it could be the fact that perhaps um, there is a girl or a guy out there that really disrespected you. And it doesn't have to be like a romantic partner, but it could be like, let's say, like a family member or a friend. And they've really started to disrespect you in some way. So perhaps they may have said something mean to you or they were a bit nasty to you. Um, or if this was someone that you like romantically, they might have rejected you. You know, if they're, if you're not... If they're not interested in you the way that you are interested in them, then you kind of do need to like ignore them a little bit because you because if you don't ignore them and you keep on basically jumping to their every whim that they want from you and stuff like that, then you're basically enabling their bad behavior. You're basically saying to them, yes, please, I would love you to continue treating me in this bad way. Whereas if you kind of ignore them and you keep your distance, you take your time to reply to them, um, then it shows that you are not... Um, weak, that you have self-respect, that you're only going to tolerate those people that love and respect you and want you around. You can't tolerate those people that 
do not respect you, that clearly don't want you around, or they, at least they don't value your presence. And if you're getting constantly mistreated, if people are treating you poorly, if each time you have a conversation with someone, you end up feeling really bad about yourself, you need to remove yourself from the situation. You need to say to them, basically, look, I'm not interested in you talking to me like this. I'm not interested in being treated this way. Um, if you want to, you know, start being nice to me, then let me know and contact me. You have my contact information and then leave. You know, that's what you kind of need to do when you start getting disrespected by people. You need to show that you're not gonna tolerate being treated this way. So obviously another important thing to remember is don't ignore them forever, otherwise they won't come back. Because obviously if you're watching this, then you probably do want this person back. So if they keep on sending you like, hey, how are you? And you just stop replying to them, eventually they will fade away and they'll never come back. And you've probably had this experience before where you've perhaps sent messages to people um, and you keep on sending them and then all of a sudden you step, you stop getting replies for them, from them. And because you've stopped getting replies from them, um, you stop basically contacting them because obviously they don't want anything to do with you. Um, basically that's what's going to happen if the reverse is true. So if you never reply to their messages, if you never um, respond to them, then of course eventually they're just going to like give up because you've obviously been in that kind of position as well I know I have so it's like well okay I, I'm just gonna leave because this person is never gonna respond to me so if you do want this person back make sure that you don't keep on ignoring them forever if you'd like to get coaching with me then please go to www.christineloveridge.com thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon goodbye guys